uh, Dr. Mori on Civilized Vitality. I'm going to show you a gear review today. So let me put my bag over the side there. So I uh, just want to do a quick review. Carrie Ann and I are out at the park. Um, this is the T60 Emergency Shelter System. I don't know if you can see that. By Cole Cracker uh, Bushcraft, Dan Walmack. He's got a great YouTube channel. A uh, lot of bushcraft stuff. Um, some survival things. But, uh, you know, obviously here in Uncivilized, we do a lot of field craft, which involves elements of uh, being prepared for an emergency or survival. And then uh, bushcrafty stuff, although I'm not necessarily a bushcrafter. Uh, this is pretty cool. I bought this myself. He didn't send this to me or anything. So this is a, like a free review. And uh, it's, it's pretty neat. I keep a couple, uh, I keep four little miniature uh, ABS stakes in there so you can tack this out in different configurations. I'll just put a couple in my, my pocket. And I keep an extra, uh, just a hank of uh, paracord in there too. But without those things in there, this thing wads up so small, I could put this in my pocket. So what this is, is it's not, um, I mean, maybe Dan can uh, make a correction. Uh, this is not meant as your, like your main tarp system. I think this is just something you throw in your bag. It weighs practically nothing. Uh, I can fold down enough to go right in my, my pocket. And if I'm not carrying stakes, I can just break a couple sticks uh, or use some boot laces or other paracord to make shelter. So it's called the T60 because you can set it up in uh, under a minute, under 60 seconds. So let me show you how it works. It's got its own self-containing pocket. You just unfold that and just start pulling this thing out. And at two of the corners, along one of the long edges of this material, which is waterproof, it's some kind of ripstop nylon. It's either been impregnated with a, um, a coating or it's just such a tight weave that it's waterproof. I haven't tested it out in any heavy uh, weather. I've only used it once, uh, but I do carry it with me all the time. So uh, kudos to Jan Dan for knowing kind of his audience. So it's about this big, I think it's five by seven, four by seven. And it's got these cords attached uh, to the top corners. And this is kind of neat too. So I've got this hanked up and what we can do is we'll come over here and I'll show you how this would attach. So I would pull this out. And the cool thing is you don't have to know anything beyond a simple uh, shoelace knot. I can go around this tree and just tie a simple knot that you would tie on your shoes, All right? So a big shoelace knot. So I just tie one end to this tree and then I walk the other end over here. And even if it's a little far away, you've got plenty of cord here on this end. And if I had to set this up in a hurry, I could go a little faster, but I wanted to show everybody the cool parts about this. This T60 and then it goes right around here and once again, I could just tie a, like a shoelace knot, so, you know, like you'd tie your shoes. You make the little bunny ears and you swoop around, swoop around and tuck that under, like, just like you're tying your shoes. Okay. That's it. Now, um, I could grab a couple sticks, but <clears throat> I have these, these tags with me. Down at the other end, the opposite corner, there are a couple of <clears throat> tie-out loops. Right? And they're sewn in there. They're really stitched in well. For such thin material, he's done a good job rolling that hem under and uh, uh, bar tacking these in so they're pretty solid. I'll put my little, little stake in there. We just pull that back nice and, nice and tight and drive that into the ground. Same thing here. I could also use those loops if I didn't have stakes. I could uh, tie them down with some rope or maybe even hold them down with a rock or a couple of sticks. And then you can see under here the space uh, under this tarp. If I were to lay at a slight angle, right, I got plenty of coverage under here. Um, I'm about 5'10". Five, five, ten. Uh, five, ten, ten and a half depends on, I guess, how tall up, uh, how straight I'm staying a day. Uh, but if I understand correctly, Dan Womack, the inventor of this is over six foot. He's six, two or three, he's a tall dude and he fits under here. So, I mean, I've got plenty of space. I could have a fire out front. I can lay down here. I could pitch this lower 
um, if I wanted some more weatherproofing. There are no center tie outs, so it's kind of limited in its configuration. Um, but for a simple lean-to style, I mean, it's great for what it is. It's an emergency shelter. I wouldn't rely on this maybe as my main shelter. Uh, I usually run a Hyperlite um, uh, Dyneema uh, big uh, tarp, an eight and a half by eight and a half. But this would be great if you got caught in a sudden downpour. You know, without the tie out in the center, it will collect water, but I could easily fix that by um, finding a stick two or three feet and padding it with my bandana or something and use that to hold this back end up and give myself some more space. I'm sure I could configure this in a plow point or even an A-frame <clears throat> if I were to maybe uh, do a little modification and put a grommet or another tie out here in the center of the short side. So this is the T60 um, coal cracker bushcraft. Let me take it down and pack it in to show you how easily it would come down. So I retrieve my stakes, I'm ready to hike again. Or maybe the, uh, maybe we just stop to get out of the sun, which if you've listened to my comments on field craft, about the only time I'll run a lean to is when I'm trying to get out of the sun. Never been a fan of the, the lean to configuration. All right, so I could just bundle that cord up we don't have time, we'll just roll the whole thing up. Stuff it back into its pocket. Okay, pull that off. And then just turn the whole thing inside out, right into that pocket. Get in there. This material is very slippery. Here, we'll just do it the old-fashioned way. Just kind of gather it up like this and tuck it back in there. Let's move out of the way here a little bit. All right, and this whole thing stuffs back into its own self-contained pocket. Finish tucking that in a little bit. Right. It's very small, tucks down in there, T60, and then just wanted to show you how this thing will fit right in the back pocket. Right. I can stuff that right in the back pocket of my blue jeans. Right. Obviously, I packed it kind of sloppy, but if I were in a hurry to move, I could do that. It's a <clears throat> nice bright orange. I call it too bright, kind of a rusty orange. But since I always have this in the bottom of my bag in case it comes in handy or I need to extend my shelter this would make a good uh, emergency shelter for your gear even if you get a torrential downpour maybe you end up sharing uh, ducking under the main shelter the main tarp with someone or you needed it as a signal panel you could use this to catch the attention of a search and rescue party but it folds up real small it weighs almost nothing I might do a few mods on it. Oh, it also comes in, I, I believe, a, a kind of a brownish or a coyote or a tan brown and a woodland green. So if you're doing more, maybe it use as your main tarp. Um, I'll play around with it and try to get, come up with some other configurations and then see what else we can do. Maybe a second video on different uses. But a uh, great thing to have with you as an emergency shelter system, T60 Cold Cracker Bushcraft. I bought this one myself in the orange because at the time... A year or so ago, that's all they had, but now they have other colors. So I'm going to pick up a couple more and uh, see what I can do with them. Maybe some mods, extra grommet or tie-outs, but I really, really like it. I think this was a, a great product for what it is. Just a little peace of mind that I can always use this as a, uh, maybe even a ground sheet under my other tarp or um, uh, as an emergency poncho, lots of different things. So. Leave some comments below if you have the T60 or you've tried it out before, or if you're in the Uncivilized uh, Vitality group and you, you want to pick one up, head over to Cold Cracker Bushcraft, check it out. Get one and maybe we'll run these on our canoe trip coming up. Maybe I'll use this as my shelter and then uh, report back how well that worked. So that's it. Like, share, subscribe.